Hey guys, <clears throat> happy 4th of July, and I got an anti-American comic. I'm sorry, it just turned out this way. Anyway, people are fucking yelling upstairs. So, I got We Stand Guard. America bombs the shit out of Canada and invades it. For some unknown reason. Personally, I don't know what you would gain from bombing Canada and invading it. Except territory, and then they say it's not about territory. So, I don't know. Um, overall, I liked it. The art was fantastic in this. That was the best part of this book, was it was so beautiful. But, here we go. I finally get to talk about this. My reading relationship with Brian K. Vaughn. I either love his books, or I hate them. For instance, I loved Runaways, hated his Swamp Thing run. Uh, love Saga, hate, hate Why the Last Man. I'm like the in the minority of people who just can't stand Why the Last Man. I tried. I gave that thing 12 issues, and I just didn't like it at all. So now we hit what I do with Brian K. Vaughn stuff, and sorry, people are making loud noises. Um, you get I give it six issues, usually, and if it doesn't get me, um, I drop it immediately. Um, the thing about We Stand Guard, and I understand that not everything could be pro-America, um, but this, the, their whole reasoning, well, there wasn't much reasoning, which was probably good. It was good that we didn't focus on the Canadian military in this, and how America is just full of evil people, blah, 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 that stupid stereotype. Um, that if it had been that, then I would have hated this. Because you have to understand, my grandfather was a paratrooper in Vietnam. Uh, my, my cousin was special forces when we first went into Afghanistan after 9-11. I have a lot of military people in my family. So, I don't care for when they just make all American military evil. Like, uh, Pride of Baghdad, for instance. I hate that book. Because it just didn't make... That's not how people act, usually. I mean, granted, there are some people who just lose their shit in war and they do horrible things. But when they just decide that the whole military is evil, that's just... That's bullshit. It's complete bullshit. So let's get back on track here. Um, what I liked about this book, uh, the art was the best. It's the best I've ever seen in a Brian K. Vaughn book. It's just gorgeous. Uh, I like the main character. She's very removed. And I like like most of the other characters. I mean, we didn't get much. It's an issue one. And I like the size of the book. It's kind of shit. It's kind of weighty. It's actually thick, and it's a two ninety nine book, and they've just oversized a little bit. It felt felt like what an IDW issue should be. It's heavy. It's nice. There's a lot of content in here. Some gorgeous splash pages. It's beautiful. And we got mech robots. And that was cool. What I didn't like. Uh, there's a whole explanation that Superman is related to Canada. That felt that was way too wordy on top of it just felt forced and oh Jesus Christ 
uh, not my thing. Um, it, it just that could have been left out, and it would have been great. But no, they threw Brian K. Vaughn threw that in there, and it was passable. Uh, I just hope there isn't more ham-fisted stuff like that in this. So overall, what do I give this? I give it three out of five. It's just middle. I'll give it an issue too, unless it really offends me or just bothers me. It's probably the second one. If it bothers me, then I won't read it anymore. So anyway, we stand guard. Go check it out. Anyway, guys, have a nice day.